back to my floss tube. I am Steph from Stitchy Steph. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I am Steph from Stitchy Steph over on Instagram and here on YouTube. I did promise you all a video on my chat. I didn't forget, things just seemed to happen and it got pushed back. Um, I did try and film it a good three or four times and it didn't work so hopefully this is the, the final time for everybody. Um, I am going to be doing a regular floss tube as well as this uh, but that will be in a few weeks probably after half term but I just thought if I can film my chart for it like my charts not my kits but my charts then I know where I am because I did promise you guys obviously so I am going to start jumping straight in I'm going to start with my fancy ladies I'm looking over here because they're all like piled up high and I know where I am I am going to start with my fancy ladies then I'm going to go on to like the series ones and then into my charts um, some of them I won't be listing them all below just because there'll be that many there's absolutely no way I am going to remember where on earth they are all from and so just if you want to know any charts let me know and I'll do my best to help find them so I'll jump straight in and I will start with let's have a look which ones will I start with my Bella Filipino Fili Filipina Filipina so I have actually got two Bellas I have got the Hollyberry Pixie and the Autumn Equinox Pixie my eldest daughter is called Pixie um, so that is probably why I am fascinated with these. Oh, I am absolutely fascinated with them. I can't, I think I got the Holly Berry Pixie last year, but I didn't get it for Christmas. I got it with Christmas money because I got money for Christmas. And my Autumn Equinox Pixie is from the Knitting and Stitching Show, and you can tell it hasn't even been opened yet. But yet, the Holly Berry one has, so. I've only ever had two Bellas and these are my two so yeah my next ones I will show you I'll do ooh, I will do these ones first you should see the table here it is just covered in charts so I hope you've all got a cup of tea and some spare time <laughs> so I've been at work since half five this morning I am shattered and I'm going back at three so I do nine, no three, six. Normally I start quarter to six till quarter to nine, but I did half five till half eight this morning. And I'm going back and I'm doing half two till half five tonight. So like the split shift sort of wiped me out a little bit, just because you can't really do much during the day other than try and nap on the sleep that you've missed from this morning so it's a bit of a catch-22 situation but yeah I love it, it keeps me entertained it <laughs> gives me money to buy more charts so yeah so my first one of my Mirabilia's is the Royal Games 1 and I have actually got the Royal Games 2 and these are when I say my husband they're totally different he's like but they look the same but they are if you look, one's the Love Heart and the Spade, and the other one's the Club and Diamond. So they are by Mirabilia, uh, Nora Corbett's. Oh, is that right? Nora, Nora Corbett design for Mirabilia. My next Mirabilia's are, it is the Baker's Wife. I do love this. I haven't put the kit the charts in here that I am stitching on because they are classed as my whips so I haven't actually added them into the chart parade and I will be showing you them on my next flush tube the next one is the Duchess of Rouen I love that one I have a thing about masquerade masks I absolutely love them so that one I just loved and this one isn't a mirror it's a design by Nora Carbert 
and it's a Mill Hill uh, and it's called Red Tree. I actually got this one off Facebook Marketplace and it is by, or the, the where the person's got it from is Arts and Designs. But yeah, there is that one, Red Tree. And I, I do really like that. It, and it doesn't look that difficult to stitch, but I bet when you're working on it, it's so intense. And in fact, I, I think I'm going to start kitting one of them up to do. My, now I've gone my other fancy ones, which is Lavender and Lace. So I've got Lavender and Lace, Gift of Peace. I got that one from eBay. If I keep looking over this way as well, I am actually filming for Instagram. So on Instagram, everyone can sort of see. And that's what that was. I should have really done it on a time lapse, but I've completely just recorded myself, but never mind. So yeah, that is the Gift of Peace by Lavender and Lace. Next Lavender and Lace is, oh no, Butter, Butternut Road is this little lady and she is called, no, and this one is called a uh, Christmas, no, just Christmas Visit. So yeah, Christmas Visit. This one I have is called Morning Song by again lavender and lace i want to say i got majority of these from the charity shop this one i have is called guardian angel again by lavender and lace so i have got quite a few lavender and laces that i got i think they were like 20p in my local charity shop so i'd have been daft not to get them and oh so yeah let me just pick that one up there we are so this one is the Angel of Summer by Lavender and Lace, as you can see, and oh I've got a few Lavender and Lace actually I didn't realise, I'll take what I put them there and then I can't. This one is Angel of Mercy, is that one? Angel of Mercy, Lavender and Lace. This one is the Song of Christmas, and I do really like this one. Again, from the charity shop. And when I was younger, before I came back into stitching, proper as well, because I've been in stitching and out of stitching, but when I came back into stitching a good few years ago, I got gifted a load of lavender and laces, and I actually give them away. Now I, I look back and I'm like, why did I do that? But we live and learn. Uh, this one is by Butternut Road, Catch the Wind. That one was 10p from my local charity shop. Then I got Little Wings by Lavender and Lace, but because this, oh, Little Wings and is this one, Little Wings. Must only have one of them. Yeah, oh no. Little Wings and Sweet Dreams. They are from the charity shops, they're photocopied. So I can't really show you the patterns of them and I haven't got the pictures to sort of show you. So unfortunately they are like that. <laughs> I can't, like, yeah, that's why I showed you them really, really quickly. Now I will show you my series chart. And I have got quite a few. <laughs> Some of them aren't full series. Like the uh, these ones, these are full series. I just got the ones that I really like. So I got the Farmer by Cottage Garden Samplings, and I did actually kit up the Farmer, but I de kitted it because I used the fabric I had for this one for um, my Eleanor Rigby, and so I got the Farmer, and I got the Pirate. Again, just because I love pirates and farmers, I, I really, really want a farm. And I just, I don't know something about that one. But that is the Snowman Collection, the Collector Series, and number eight, and the Snowman Collector Series number nine, Pirate. They are both by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I got, they, like I said, that's eight and nine. So they are part of a series, but I haven't got them. My other series I did get was the 
nut cracker village and I've mixed them all up so I'm afraid I can't even show you them in order but I'm sure if you went online you would find them all in order of what, how they go so I'll just start I'll just show you them the way that I've just picked them up and then obviously if you want to stitch them um, you can still buy them now um, and you can find out the order online so the first one is Clara and the Pin Prince from the Nutcracker Village. So there's that one. The Nutcracker Village Sugar Plum Sweet Shop. I love the colours in this one. I've got the Nutcracker Village Merlton's Music Store. And some of them I have wrote the number on the top. So like there you'll see number seven. So that is the number seven one. But some of them, like the Dossamaya Toy Shop, hasn't got any numbers on. So that's where I've let myself down. <laughs> so that's Dossamaya's Toy Shop. I've got Drew, no, Jew Drops Flower Shop. <laughs> Again, this is all the cottage, country cottage needlework. Um, Nutcracker Village. I've got Mother Ginger's Candy Star and the Nutcracker Village. Oh, Chinese Tea Rooms. That one. The colours are beautiful in these. This one is Spanish Chocolate Shop. And I, I did actually start this, but I was going to do them separately and then I was like, oh, do you know what? I didn't have a piece of fabric big enough and I wanted it all to match. I thought, right, stop stitching it and I'll restitch it on a big fabric and then I'll do it like that. So my next one is the Russian Peppermint Shop. And the Arabian Coffee Shop. Again, it's the colours I love of this. As you can see, they're like pastel -y pinks and purples. This one is Snow Queen's Ice Parlour. And I think, is that it? I think we might come across some more of these ones. I am not sure. So if we do, it will be a surprise for us all. Let's not mix these up, Stephanie. Right, so these ones are a part of a stitch along, like a set. Again, I didn't get this one as a set. I got these just because I really like them and I actually thought it came with a button, but it didn't. But that's fine because I have plenty of buttons I can stitch it with. So this one is the Gingerbread Village Country Cottage Needlework Gingerbread Boy and Snowman. I've got the Gingerbread Village gingerbread train see that's the one actually I should but see this bit here that's the button I thought it came with the uh, gingerbread boy but it didn't and I thought it came with the wheels I thought they were all buttons as well but they're not but that's fine because like I say I have actually got buttons I can use so I think that's gorgeous that one I love it this one is the Country Cottage Needlework Snow Village series, the Skate and Sled Shop. So that one. Then I've got the Big City Christmas series, but I've only got one of these as well. It's the Department Store. Um, I have. Little House Needlework. I've only got one of this one as well. It is the Hometown Holiday Music Star. Again, I'm assuming this one's a series. I've never seen the other ones of this. But I am assuming that, again, this is a series. So, there's that one. Sorry, I'm absolutely thirsty as anything. I've been super busy today as well, so... Now these are the Little House Needlework Fall on the Farm um, 
So this is the Little House Needlework Fall on the Farm series. And I have actually I've put these all together so I don't lose them because I do really like them. Now, I did actually stitch one of these before and I wasn't that keen on it. So I am going to re-stitch it um, in the future. Again, the same as my Nutcracker Village on a big sheet of... A big sheet? A big Ada linen piece. So I'll start on this one. This one is Fall on a Farm, the Farm Fresh. Is that better? This, these are all in order, by the way. So the next one is Fall on the Farm, the oh, the old farmhouse. This is the No Crotes Allowed. I quite like that one actually. Pick your, pick your own. Now, I know there was an uh, a typo with these, so that's why I'm checking at the back, because if you look at the back of the... It's got, like, the names. And so this one is Changing Leaves. Now, this is it. It says on the front, this is Pumpkin Patch Chart 7. But and then it says at the back, this is with a Moo Moo here. So I'm assuming that's with a Moo Moo here, and that's number 6. Because number seven is pumpkin patch. So there's a bit of a, a miss typo thing there. The next one is li This Little Piggy. I love this series. I really absolutely love it. And to be fair, this isn't just sort of autumn. I would say you could have this out all year round. The last one is Wishing You Well. So there's I'm a Fall on the Fans. And I am going to put that one up there because I don't want to lose them. I'll mix them ones up. So my next ones I'm going to show you are all my Halloween inspired ones. Mixed in with a bit of Christmas for some reason. Or because when I filmed I just put everything away before I lost my temper with it. So yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. These are my Halloween ones. Again, not in any particular order, they're just how I've pulled them out. I put them away last time. So this one is the Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden Samplings. Now, I'm not sure if this is, oh no it wasn't, this one by them. There's another one and I'm not sure you know, this, that one, Trick or Treat, if that's like, a stitch along it's not a stitch along but like part of a series as well so I'm not sure if they're both part of a series I'm not sure but anyway so I've got them two by cotton garden samplers which is this one is trick and treat and this one is Halloween sampler and I've seen loads of people stitching this one which I really like and then obviously there's that one so there's two Halloweens my next Halloween one is Silver Creek Samplers. It is Scary Things October Brings. I love that little cat and the bat. I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, that one says ghosts, black cats and flying bats, scary things unseen, pumpkins glowing, winds are blowing, boo, it's Halloween. The next one is my... Uh, cross-eyed cricket the cricket collection uh, trick or treat now I have got um, a load of trick or, uh, cricket collections but I'm this because this is Halloween this is in this section now I love this but I don't like them ones and I love this bit at the top that just says trick or treat so I think I'm going to be just stitching the top one the trick or treat ones so my next one is hands-on designs if pumpkins could fly and it says, if pumpkins could fly, if pumpkins could fly up in the sky, I'd ride with you and shout boo. So there's that one. This is Double Double by the Prairie Schooler. Jolly Jack by All Through the Night. I got this one, but I don't know if I'm that keen on it, you know. Something about it, I'm just not that... I don't know. 
I think I will stitch it, but I don't know. I'm, something about that one I don't like, I don't think. So my next one is the Waxing Moon Designs, the Haunted House Trio. And I have actually stitched, uh, which one have I stitched? That one. That's, I stitched that one a few years ago. And I do put it up every year at Halloween, well, September. <laughs> so there's that one. My next one is Halloween Critter Trio, again by Waxing Moon Designs. And the Haunted, ha gosh, I can't even read. Haunted Manor House by Off Artful Offerings. That one. And I've seen quite a lot of people design uh, stitching this one as well, and it looks huge and beautiful when it's done, but again, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had time. Seems to be the story of my life that lately. So carrying on with the Halloween ones. It's the Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, which is that one. In fact, I'll tell you what that might be better about there so you can see. Uh, I did start this one and then I decided to stop and I'm gonna, why did I stop it? I don't think I like the fabric I'd stitched it on. So I did stop that one. But that is them all. My next one is I got from the Knitting and Stitching Show last year when I went, and it is Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs. Some beautiful ones again in here. I need to just sit my bum down and do them. Because really, they don't need to be in like a painter's tray, you could have them. Just hung up anywhere so yeah there's that one i've got uh jack o'lantern junction farm by hands-on designs and i got this because it the chalkboard designs are by priscilla uh blaine from uh, stitch with the housewives and i really like their stuff so that's the reason why i got that one my next one is the Prairie Schooler Halloweenies and I have stitched um, that one, number 13. So I've stitched that one. Again, I love that. I love them all except the Jolly Jack one I think I might get rid of. I'm in two minds because I have, did a, I did do a few and I did it in I think 14 count Adrian. It just looked a bit silly so I stopped. Uh, stitching it so I got this one 13 Sm spooky smalls by Primrose Cottage stitches and I have stitched that one I stitched that last year and I will be stitching some more from there because of some of them some of the smalls oh, let's see if I can show you so yeah there it is that's the one I stitched last year and because the, the smalls, you can get them done like in a night or a night and a half. Do you know what I mean? So it's a great uh, sort of do. My next ones I will show. I will show you my Christmas ones. I might as well stick to the themes and show you the Christmas ones. Might and I'm just making sure I've got all of them. So the next ones are Christmas and then I will show you my um, cross cricket collection. I've got quite a lot of Christmas ones again. I've got quite a lot of everything. Now I'm looking back over it. To be fair, I have my books here and I got rid of. Now that's the only cross stitching books I have. Um, the rest of my cross stitching books I donated to charity. These are the kids crafting books that I have left now. But yeah, so they are, oh no, and I've got magazine, cross stitch magazines at the end, but they are the only cross stitch magazines I have, uh, books I have now. And the charts, and obviously my kits, and then that's it. So my first Christmas one is the ABC by Lizzie Kate. ABC Christmas, sorry. And it's Christmas in stitches from A to Z. My next one I got from the Knitting and Stitching Show, which is the Teresa C 
Korgut. I never know if I'm saying that right. Teresa Korgut, um, Magic of Christmas. And again, I got this one from the Knitting Stitch and Show because it just reminds me, something about it just reminds me of the 1950s and I absolutely love the 1950s. And I just think it's so vintage. And it is on, does it say what it's on? 32 Twilight Blue Linen. And I really quite like it on the blue linen. And I have actually got some blue linen. So I'm thinking, start maybe start that in August for my birthday. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. I'll change my mind for then. I'm not even gonna attempt to say this, but it is the Christmas Farm. It's the wrong time day probably to film when the light's blasting in. So yeah, that is the Christmas Farm. And that is the designer and I'm not even going to attempt to say it because I will butcher it. So yeah, there's that one. My next one is the Prairie Schooler Santa 2009 Santa. And I've stitched him and I have him up every year as well. The next one I have is from the Silver Creek Samplers. Um, this one called oh my christmas list and so it is massive and it says family visit turkey dressing woolen sweaters christmas blessing flying reindeer mistletoe candy glowing hot cocoa pies and cookies all saint nick peace and goodwill pepper mint stick wrapping presents gingerbread hang your stocking time for bed angels singing christ is born a gift for all on Christmas morn. Oh. God, that was a mouthful for me to read without my glasses. So yeah, that is the Silver Creek samplers. One. No, oh, my next one I got from the charity shop and I, I absolutely love this one. And I forget I have it every year because I have actually got a similar book that isn't a Christmas one. And I, I look at it and I go, oh, I'm going to stitch this one. And I never do get them stitched. Anyway, it is a Merry Christmas by designs by Gloria and Pat, which is that one. And it is actually a book, and there's some of the things that are in it. So if I can quickly show you, and that's what's in it. I mean, look at some of them. I love which one was it? I've just seen them. I really like that one. Really lovely. Yep, I have that one. My next one is for the love of christmas for the love of cross stitch is this a it's obviously a cross stitching one but i don't know if it's a magazine it must be a magazine but so it's loads of like little small i think but it can't be because i've just seen there's like a duck section in it which is like that which i've just seen so this might have to go with my magazines because it's like that one as well and I have looked through it I promise it's just I didn't realise it was a magazine I thought for some reason in my head I had it, it was down as like a chart anyway I've got this one was actually free it was a uh, cross stitch DMC cross stitch favourite and it was or is called Christmas Wishes and like I say this one was free from my local shop my local haberdashery shop years and years and years ago so is that one I have this one by Debbie Mum and apparently it's part of Dimensions which I've only just seen here and there's like loads of smalls in it and I actually have stitched this big Santa here and what else did I stitch? The big Santa. And there was something else I stitched as well. Oh, the, that one. So I stitched him and I stitched that one. So yeah, that is there. My next one is a Stony Creek collection. Uh, sorry about that. My uh, camera just decided to turn itself off. So. 
Uh, this one is the Country Christmas with Beads and Buttons. So yeah, that's that one. I couldn't remember how much I'd shown you then because I was just chatting away and then my camera like turned itself off and I was like, oh, okay. This one was a freebie from Cross Stitch Crazy. Oh, and it is, don't even know who the designer is. No idea. Cross Stitch Crazy. Oh, it's like Zweigart. It is Vintage Christmas. So I haven't got rid of that one actually, believe it or not, because I really, really like it. So I had to keep that one. This one is the Counted Cross Stitch Christmas Ideas by DMC. Uh, I must, that one must have been my mum's because I don't recognise buying it. So there's that one. Christmas Journey by Leisure Arts. And look. And there is actually, this was my mum's, and there is actually a working chart inside. So I've got that one. This one is called And Miles to Go Before I Sleep. Again, by Leisure Arts. On the back, actually, there is that, um, oh, there's three. There's one there, one there, and that one there. And on the back is the instructions with the outline of, like, the stocking, which I have only just noticed. So, yeah. There's that one. I think that is all my Christmas ones, you know, guys. Oh no, uh, one, two, three. Three Christmas ones left and then I'm on to the others. So this one I got from the Knitting and Stitching Show, Welcome to the North Pole by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And you'll have seen this one all over Instagram. I love how busy it is. I've got Stony Creek Merry Christmas Santa and I've got Leisure Arts another magazine but to be honest this isn't just knit, uh, cross stitching this has got knitting in it it's got all sorts in it so it's not just the knitting so there's that one I am now going to go on to like sets if that makes sense We'll see what I mean in a minute because it's like my cross, my cricket collection, um, Elena Rigby's. Do you know what I mean? Like them sort of ones. So, my cricket collection is actually, I've got all four of these ones. So I'll show you these ones first. I have got the spring, autumn, winter, and summer. So, them ones. I've got the farmer's market, I've got cookies, I've got Christmas, I've got I will honour Christmas in my heart and keep it all the clear. That one. I've got rabbit habit. That one. The only thing I don't like about that, where there all the others seem to be like little booklet things, this one is like a piece, like a card, not even a book, and you get like the other instructions on like a spare piece of paper. That's the only thing I don't like about that one, really. I've got Rabbit's Big Day, and I've got this one's my favourite, Skeleton Crew. So I am starting to rush through them a little bit because. Obviously, I don't want my camera turning off again. It must hit 30 minutes. My camera just decides I've had enough and I'm bored. So it turns itself off on me. Now, I should have shown these ones at the beginning, but I didn't because it's a series, but never mind. It is the Magical Mystery Tour series by Blackbird Designs. So I've got the Eleanor Rigby. I've got Strawberry Fields. I've got Blackbird, I've got Octopus's Garden, and I think there is five in this. The Yellow Submarine and Long and Winding Road. Or is there eight in this? Six. Because the last one goes back to Eleanor Rigby. So yeah, that is the six in the Magical Mystery Tour series. Because I've got all them ones. Right, so these ones 
I actually I found this one in a I found three of them in a charity shop and there was one left and I didn't pick it up so my dad bought me it. So there's Russian Angel, there's Nordic Angel, there's Japanese Angel and there is South American Angel. There is others I think at the back. Oh no, that's it. So yeah, I got all of them ones. So the last ones now are just like charts that I have. Um, I am trying to sell quite a lot of these ones because they're just not me at all. So I don't think I'm going to show the ones that I'm selling just because obviously people um, do you know what I mean? Like I won't show them ones, it's not fair. Because I have got a few people messaging me asking if I've still got them. So, there we go. Oh, I've taken my things right down. Anyway, my first one is Heartstring Sample Re uh, Cross Stitch Nation. Which is that one? It says, I belong to a cross stitch nation. Trying to read that back to front isn't the best. It's an inner light. So there's that one. That one actually was only £5 for that full chart. And it's massive. So it's definitely worth it. This one I actually got given with three others. I think. Yeah, there. So these three I got given. I found somebody getting rid of them on Facebook and she literally lived like a two minute walk from her house so I just walked around and picked them up so I got the Jester this is colour work colour chart which I've never heard of before so there's that one the above the clouds this one that one I love because it does remind me a bit of Jules Verne Reminds me a little bit of Jules Verne and I do quite like that. And then this one, the Night Train, uh, was the other one I got free. Oh. See ya. Um, so then my other ones I've got now. I got this for Mother's Day last year or the year before. It is Satsuma Street, Paris. I do like a pretty little Paris it's called sorry and actually inside this you do get like a little like thing to sort of show you where everything that's on the front cover goes which I think is quite a cool idea let me show you that I think that's a really really cool idea because you can always move them around if you want as well you don't have to necessarily put them like they have so this one is Sunday brunch See, some of these chat needle. Uh, what's this one from? Leisure Arts. And a lot of them actually have got the um, anchor conversions in them because inside actually has got the D like inside the chart, it's a DMC and they've got the anchor colour conversion as well. Which I don't know if you can get anchor anymore, I'm not sure. So this one is Hummel and it's called Apple Tree. What is it? Apple tree girl and apple tree boy, so yeah, apple tree. And I do quite like them. I love her. I think I'm gonna have to stitch that one, the little girl. So, yes, yeah, so I've got apple tree. I've got rose petal palace. Again, this one is similar to my Christmas book and so is this. The opposite of the Merry Mouse book of opposites. So I've got them too. And that one is all just like Rose Petal Palace. It's full of like little princesses, uh, fairy princesses and stuff, which is really quite cute. I mean, look at that. So them ones. I've only got a few left, I promise. My last few is, you'll have seen this one in my last flush tube, which is that one, the Morris Minor. I've got The Summer Wishes by Joanne Jones, free out for magazine, and it says Sandy Toes, Salty Kisses, Lazy Days and Summer Wishes. 
Um, this one is the County Cross Stitch Marshalls collection uh, Middlesbrough football kit which I have no intention of doing but because it was Middlesbrough and I thought my dad and brother might like it I picked this one up and I have no intention of doing it but anyway I can't. I feel like I can't really get rid of it and my last ones are just books really so I've got the big book of Looney Tunes again when I got my Night Train char the Jester and the one that I said looks like Jules Verne this one was in it as well so there's that one and they're actually from Canada them ones so this one is I'm getting this one from York the traditional and travel cross stitch by DMC this one is the Rico the I don't know if the joint books uh, one's Christmas and one is just I don't know bands like that you can put on tables and cloths and stuff and there's birds in it as well which I quite like so there's that one and there's that one so yeah there's them too and that my friends is it <laughs> so this is probably one of the longest videos I've ever done showing you all my charts but but yeah thank you very much for sticking by and I will hopefully do a flash tune very soon which I say every time I know so but I will get one done and it, like I said it'll probably be after half term now because half term's coming up and the kids will be off they break up a week before I do and so they will probably be off when I get they'll be back at school when I have my week off so I'll probably film then <laughs> when I'm not as tired and I won't be rambling but anyway thank you for sticking by and hopefully I will see you next time bye